Hello, friends. Good morning. Okay, so we have some stories to share. Um, we did not get to our morning show, which happens on my oily Instagram. Um, hey, baby, stop doing that, babe. Um, but we wanted to come in here now that we have internet again. <laughs> We wanted to come in here and share with you guys our craziness of the night. Um, we were like in a crazy thunderstorm and we're from California. There's been like thunderstorms, but I have never experienced anything. Holy moly, my hair. I've never experienced anything like that, like last night. Um, it was insane, insane. The loudness. I mean, everybody like woke up and was terrified and like we were all in one one room together um kids in our bed maybe kids crying i don't even know it was it Crazy. was insane yeah it was i think every, everybody knows like how loud thunder can get but it was one of those nights where like the the strike was so close to our home that like there was it was just an explosion like it sounded like literally like cannons yeah uh, going off like I mean the, the it was still is a silly thought but we have like a warship sitting off the coast here you can't see it because the uh, it's raining so hard right now but like my first thought was that we're getting shot at because it didn't sound a bit like thunder it was just a um, like just an incredibly loud boom yeah and uh, of course you know I ran in and checked on the kids and you know to go make sure everybody's okay and stuff but um, I think I was more afraid than the kids were like it was uh, terrifying until we knew it was lightning and just kind of an uncommon but it was so bright like and it, it lightning struck somewhere and so power went out thankfully we had these little like pop lights that are back but it was so crazy loud and like the house felt like it was gonna shake the storm the rain I don't, I'm sure you guys can hear it now it's so stormy like major tropical storm it's so crazy um yeah and so we were like out of power what is happening we were out of power um everybody was freaked out it was insane and then so we're all huddled together um everyone was nervous because you know you would see the light and the the thunder was so close to us that it would hit and then like this explosion so we're all like closing our ears um, just, you know, hearts racing. We're just like, what is even happening? Are we even safe in this house? Um, all the feelings. And we're trying to stay calm, cool, and collected, but I was freaked out. Kids are freaked out. Um, kids up in my lap. And yeah, it was so crazy. And so then, once it started to like kind of calm down a little bit, we were we walking through hungry. the house. Yeah. Like all we, of our we got nerves. hungry because, uh, like, there was so much adrenaline going through all of our systems that at one point, like, everybody's like, "Yeah, my stomach hurts. My stomach hurts." You know, as the uh, the lightning is slightly subsiding, and uh, so it was kind of funny because I'm like, "Hey, let's go eat something because we're probably all, you know, with all this adrenaline in our systems, you know, need just something in our tummies, you know." So, so we all get together. I feel like I was a bug. <laughs> I'm freaked out about bugs right now. Um, we all like huddled down the stairs. We're going down the stairs and every time we go down the stairs, we're always on a lookout for bugs because the cockroaches and centipedes and bugs are like legit here and not for the faint of heart. Um, so even Tony has like little traps set up of like duct tape because apparently they don't like to cross duct tape because they don't like their little their hands. grippers on it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have like all these little duct tape traps. And I don't know if it works, not, but yeah. I do it every night. I set up like new duct tape traps <laughs> on the stairs. The at scary thing the is though, they, they climb on the walls though. So unless they're like proper cockroaches or centipedes going up the stairs. But I've noticed can, like, that the bigger oh, ones stay on the floors. Yeah. And they'll have a hard time, like the bigger ones that are like, like, you know, like that big will like have a hard time climbing a wall. And so, the, which makes them easier to catch, you know, or to smash. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I always set up my traps every night more for comfort. Like, yeah. I don't know that it actually works, um, but I, I saw a video <laughs> on duct tape traps being the way to do it. So I haven't caught one yet. It's neon green duct tape. Yeah. Um, so then, so we're coming downstairs and we're looking for bugs 
Um, we get these little snack bars out. We're getting them to the kids. Tony goes to get um, a glass of milk. Power is totally out, so we just have these little um, little light up things. And um, this thing is like wanting to die on me. We have these little light up things, so we're looking. So Tony goes into the fridge, and he's going to pull it out. It's totally dark. And then Scarlett was downstairs with us, and she's like, "Oh my gosh!" And there's this massive centipede that is climbing up the wall and then it goes into the cupboard so Tony like we're talking like like six inches like looks like, like Satan that big that long it was it was the grossest evilest thing I've ever seen and the way that I described them is like they look like limousine like stretch spiders like literally yeah. they just look like spiders just like uh, the movie centipede like like just spiders just like yeah so absolutely gross. terrifying so <laughs> it's freaked out um because they're nocturnal i've been looking up all these things they're nocturnal and they don't like light and so we have these little lights and so it runs and it goes in like it's going into a cupboard and so tony <laughs> takes <laughs> he like hits the hits the um cover door so half its body is in in it's in between the little like where it closes so he smashes it and then he keeps smashing it and um like i'm literally holding this massive centipede which sounds kind of dumb because it's just a bug but it was huge like they're, huge. they're and pet some sizes of them are but I'm, like, like holding it to the poisonous. wall by holding the covered clothes so it's like tentacles or legs what are they <laughs> creepy things I like doing this and it's like moving because half of its body is being smushed by a cupboard door. And he's holding it and then he's like slamming, slamming. And then we're like, what do we do? And then we're like, is it dead? Because it stopped moving. Turns out it was just faking us out because as soon as he like starts to move, it starts moving again. So he slams it again. And then we're like, what do we do? I hit that thing so many times. Like I smashed its head in the door and then like I'm like smashing it with a shoe. And like, I'm scaring myself with the noise. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't scared. I was terrified. Okay, and I've been looking them up and apparently they're built to last. You can't just step on it and squish it or hit it and kill it. Like they're, they're built to live past us. Like they're, they're very strong. So you actually have to chop it. And that's disgusting and horrifying. Um, Supposedly you're supposed to chop it in half and then keep chopping it, but they can keep going and keep attacking you for like up to six minutes or something. These things are no, no stinking joke. Um, like absolutely terrifying. So I'm like, okay, I think you have to cut it, but what do you do? So we're looking for a shoe. He's like, give me a shoe. And he tells the children to turn around. He's like, I don't want to see them. I don't want them seeing me like attack this thing. So he takes the shoe, he's holding the cupboard door half the centipede is hanging out and he has the shoe and he's just like whacking it and it's not dying and um but it's getting I didn't want weaker. to traumatize them it's getting weaker so they're like huddled to me and i'm like holding them like a mama chick and um, mama hen to my baby chicks mama bird and um you know i'm watching the whole thing and then he's like okay i think i'm gonna let it drop so he starts to open it a little bit so it like slowly starts shifting down falls on the counter and then he has this long pocket knife and he's like trying to chop it and the guts are spraying on us it was so gross yeah that part felt very like it was like a horror movie like i, I felt like yeah who is that mel gibson and like was it the patriot when he's like just <laughs> chopping that guy yeah, I felt like that guy. Like, I, like you don't want your kids to see you in that state, just blood and guts. Ah! And, he, and one of our boys, Yuli, he had his shirt off, and he's like, ah, I just got its blood on my stomach. It was, it was intense. It was an intense night. Um, By the way, I only, uh, since we've been here, one of my favorite parts about Hawaii, one of my very favorite parts is that we don't have a lot of things here. And so I do most of my cooking uh, and chopping with my uh, pocket knives, which I'm not like a big pocket knife nerd, but I do love them. So that's like one of my favorite things is cooking with my pocket knife that I'm chopping this <laughs> animal from hell with. And so then he's like, it's chopping it up and then he's like putting it in the trash because apparently too, if you chop up a centipede, the scent can attract more centipedes. 
so he's putting it in the trash bag and then he's gonna take it outside. This was the grossest part though, to me. Chopped it up, okay, there's guts, so he's gonna clean the guts. Right before then, remember I said he went to go get milk, so he had poured a glass of milk <laughs> and he had a snack bar on the counter. So he chops it up, all the stuff, puts it outside, and then he comes back and finishes the glass of milk. I was famished from murdering this And I'm bug. like, what if there's guts in there? Oh my gosh. It was terrifying. And then, and then, you know, we're all freaked out. And then there's like a, a grasshopper that we're freaked out. Cause we're like, was it a cockroach? And so he's smashing a grasshopper. It was just like all the critters out. Um, well, everything was trying to get out of the storm. It was yeah. raining so hard and it the was lightning like, was so loud. Um, it, it was a crazy night. Like that was just everything about that was like, what are we doing on this island in the yeah. middle of the ocean? You know, Yeah. I was, want my mama. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty freaking scary. And then we had to go back up stairs and then try to fall asleep after that. was witnessing probably that. two or three hours Yeah. of just like Storm from two in the morning and lightning till and four or something. Yeah. Like the sun was rising as I'm, and so my sweet little guy, this one, you wanna say hello? Hi. He was so scared and crying and didn't wanna be alone. So I'm like laying down with him until he falls asleep, till the sun rises, he's falling asleep. And then, um, yeah, we did not get sleep. Power was out. So we didn't get to do our morning show. This but, guy's um, where I get my good looks from right here. Yeah, do you wanna tell them what you thought? Do you wanna tell them what you thought of the lightning and the bugs? You can come over here. You wanna say anything? Jump, get that guy in there. Say what's up. Hi, and last night, last night, come this way. it was like a huge lightning storm. Like, when, like, ever the light comes to me, it was, like, all white and, like, for just, like, a second. And then, but when I was sleeping, I slept through, like, like half of it. And you weren't then, really bothered by it. You didn't mm -hmm. seem scared. Yeah. And you were helping Daddy. Oh, Auntie's saying hi. Hi. Um, you were helping Daddy, like, do bug checks. We were looking all through the rooms. Right? Mm -hmm. You were you were really brave. You were helping daddy. And then we had to go back to bed, but then but then um like there's this huge lightning storm that shook the ground like so much. But it was gonna like break. Yeah. It was pretty scary. It was really intense. Do you wanna say anything? No? What did you think of the storm? What did you think? Yeah. Scary. You weren't scared? Yeah. Why were you crying in your lap? You were scared. You are crying in your lap. It was, it was scary, huh? Only, only when it like, does, when it's like really close. That was the only time. The really loud sounds? Yeah, that was really scary. Yeah. yeah. We were I, it all was, that, It scared me, like the, uh, the big booms were like, like I, was nervous like i was looking up stuff on like if if lightning hits the house like what do you do um because it sounded like it hit it because it was so yeah. loud that it flashed it hit it it boomed and everything went dark the power would go out yeah. uh if auntie aaron if you're still on there watching um ask dan about uh lightning storms and storms in fresno when we were growing up oh yeah uh it was the only other place that i've had that happen before where like um it's not like lightning count a few seconds uh, thunder it was just lightning and thunder and the lightning when it's that close like it's thick like it's not like um it's not like a string of light that goes down it's like literally like this like it looks like like a thick beam of lightning coming down you know striking and you know making that loud cannon noise ask dan about that though he, he probably remembers it, it's just kind of a different thing when you're that close uh, to the center of a storm i think the thing that i was thinking so much about though in the whole process of like hearing the thunder and it was reminding me so much of like in the bible where it talks about like the voice of the lord being like thunder and what was it like the the sounds of what is it in revelations where yeah. his voice is like thunder yeah yeah and it was just like i mean it, it really was like a sobering thought of like you know i think a lot of times we can just be like oh you know jesus is my homeboy or whatever and you're 
we can be so small minded even in our prayers and we're just kind of like nonchalant. Yeah, like yeah, I'm buddy, gonna buddy say a prayer Jesus. and you know, whatever and do our own thing. But there was something very sobering about hearing um thunder in that close and remembering like that is that is God. Like he is powerful. I mean there's there's nothing um nonchalant and chill <laughs> about um, when you're in a thunderstorm like that and that's like, it's compared to the voice of God. And it was just, it was a very like, very comforting thought, but scary. also kind At of a heart time, check. Too. Though, yeah, like, also kind like, of a heart wow. check. Yeah. 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 It was, it was pretty insane. Like even if I don't have a Jesus as my homeboy hat, um, still like that attitude can be like in your heart constantly. Yeah. Um, by just simply forgetting like how big and how close he is. Um, but no, I, I was so thankful for that thought the last night because um, that thought for me was how I got back to sleep. Like just mm-hmm. remembering that like everything that we're seeing that's kind of scaring us and shaking us kind of at a heart level is who God is. And then knowing that he's absolutely in control of all of this, you know, that the wind and the waves obey him is impressive when you're sitting at the foot of the ocean. Yeah. You know, so all of that stuff was like, I mean, I, I honestly like I went from like really scared to like, okay. Like, God loves our family. He loves us. He's in control of all of this. You know, this is okay. Yeah. Yes, not a tame God. So true. Did you want to say something else? You said? Yeah? Okay. Yuli wants to say one more thing. Okay, let's scoot in, though. And, like my, like my dad said, it kind of sounds like a bomb. It was really loud. And... It was like nobody re- nobody really knew what to do at that time. So it was really scary. Yeah. But he's excited for it tonight. He's like hoping yeah. cuz it's supposed to it's supposed to be like stormy like this for the next like through Thursday or something like that. So anyways, it is an adventure for a family. We like hiked Diamond Head yesterday and then came home to that adventure, which it felt a little bit more adventurous than hiking a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, we just wanted to share these. Um, is that the norm for Hawaii? I don't know. I mean, I know that they have like tropical storms and um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We, I've never we've seen- We've been here 24 days. We're not the experts yet. I feel like an expert. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even on our app, like where you look at the weather, I've never seen um, and my app show thunder like that where it would like, it would flash my phone. It was so crazy. So anyways, it was a crazy night. Um, say a little prayer because <laughs> we might have several of these nights. Um, so we're just kind of gearing ourselves up. But Scarlett is up napping because she was just exhausted. Mariah is reading books because reading that's books what she does she's like <laughs> yeah it's been a long long day long night and uh yeah so we're all a little bit tired but anyways we just wanted to share okay sayonara friends <laughs>